Hello, I hope this video finds you well. This is day nine, my commitment to record one coding bat solution a night as long as schools are closed. And whether you're a student of mine or someone out there just learning to code, please don't hesitate to send me any questions or comments. You can find all these solutions on my coding bat um, GitHub repository, which is linked in the comment. In this problem, we're going to look at in this video, we're going to look at coding bat, warm up one, not string, and specifically the Python solution. The problem states, given a string, return a new string where not has been added to the front. However, if the string already begins with not, return the string unchanged. In the first example, we have not string candy, and it returns not candy. So notice, candy does not have the word not in front of it, so we have to add that on. And when we add strings together, we say we concatenate strings. In the second example, not string x, we return not x. Again, we're going to have to concatenate the word not to the front because it doesn't exist. And in the third example, not string, not bad, we just return not bad because not's already there. Now what I've done in the actual solution here is I've put in a bunch of comments to kind of highlight the theory and outline approach, and I'm going to actually code the solutions now. So the big idea here is to understand string theory. Um, when we think of strings in any language, we think of the length and the index. So, for example, if we have str hello, we see the word hello has a length of 5 because there's 5 letters and has indexes 0 to 4. This is the same in any language when you're working with strings. And by indexing them this way, you're able to pull out parts of the string. We refer to them as substring. And the way substring works is... If I did something like Python, if I did str, say 0, colon, 2, what that is going to get for me is it's going to go inclusive, this index, to exclusive. So it's going to take 0, 1, so I'm going to return he. So the way substring works in Python is this notation here, and it's always inclusive, exclusive. If I did something like str 1, 4, that's going to return index 1, 2, 3, and that's going to return ELL. Now a nice little trick to notice is that if you take the second number minus the first number, you'll always get the length of the resulting substring. So 2 minus 0 is 2, and notice we have two letters. 4 minus 1 is 3, and I have three letters. In Python, you can also access individual characters by doing this. So if I say str2, it's going to take just that single character L, and it's going to return that. There are all sorts of shortcuts with the, the substring notation in Python, and I'm going to more or less avoid them. Avoid them, um, And I do this because when I find I avoid them, it translates to other languages better for other students because they're actually unique to Python, but they are very useful. In our first approach, what we're going to do is we're going to check if the string starts with not. And to do that, we have to take the first three letters and then we have to check if it's equivalent to the term not. And to do that, I just say if, and to get the first three letters, I'm going to go str0 colon 3. Remember, inclusive, exclusive. And we're going to say, is that equivalent to the word not? And if it is, we're just going to return the string exactly as it is. But if it isn't, I'm going to return not plus str. And you might have noticed I made a little mistake here. Let's hit go and let's see if we can identify it. The mistake I've made here, and this is a really common mistake in students do this the first time, is that I'm forgetting to include the space between the word not and candy. That means here I have to put a space there. And there it is. Though this works in Python, I'm going to modify this a little bit. And the reason why is because I want to be really to develop best practices for any language. And in fact, if you coded it this way in Java, you would get an error. Let me explain. Notice in the second example here, not string x, we can see that the length of the parameter is 1, and that means it has an index 0. Now, Python's smart enough to say, if 
you want to grab the first three letters and there isn't three letters, just grab what's there. And it kind of just runs, no problem. That's not true in other languages. In Python, you can run into a bit of a problem. If I did this instead, it crashes. And the reason it crashes is because if I try to access individual characters in Python using an index that doesn't exist, you get what's called an index out of range error. So what I've noticed is often students kind of use this substring notation, but then they try and translate this to Java and they run into a problem. So in my second approach, I'm going to actually code this using a best practice. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a length check. And what a length check is, is essentially ensuring that the length is, is long enough that I can pull the first three characters. And so what I do is I add this little thing in my if statement. I say if length of str is greater than or equal to 3 and str return str. Let's just comment this out up here. Otherwise I return not space plus str. I can concatenate them. And notice this works no problem, but what I've added is this nice little check here. And what's happening here is before I actually take the substring, I'm actually checking to make sure the length is long enough to do that. Now you might say to yourself, there's still a problem because it's going to evaluate this and it will crash. But here's the thing, and statements are short-circuited statements. And what that means is that when you evaluate an AND, a Boolean expression that has an AND, if the first if the first value evaluates to false, it doesn't bother checking the second one. And so the big takeaway is always check your length first before you pull out some length of substring. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a good day.